known for pitting staffers against one another. The president today tried to play peacemaker, distancing himself from his top trade advisor, Peter Navarro, after he wrote a scathing op-ed about Dr. Anthony Fauci. He made a uh, statement representing himself. He shouldn't be doing that. No, I, I have a very good relationship with Anthony. Titled, Anthony Fauci has been wrong about everything I have interacted with him on, Navarro lists the times they have clashed about how to fight COVID, including a dispute over hydroxychloroquine. Despite having no medical expertise, Navarro has pushed the controversial drug as a breakthrough for COVID patients, even though there's no solid evidence. He's frustrated that Dr. Fauci, the top infectious disease expert in the country, would not back his claim. I can't explain Peter Navarro. He's in a world by himself. During an interview with the magazine The Atlantic, Dr. Fauci appeared baffled by the attacks on his credibility from the very people he's advising. I think they realize now that that was not a prudent thing to do because it's only reflecting negatively on them. Last week, the White House released a list of the mistakes it says Dr. Fauci made after Donald Trump said this. Dr. Fauci's a nice man, but he's made a lot of mistakes. A lot of mistakes were made, a lot of mistakes. Dr. Fauci is at times seen as out of step with the White House. Trump has repeatedly downplayed the pandemic, while Fauci has repeatedly warned of darker days ahead. He's an American hero. The infighting is now being used in a fresh attack ad by a group of anti-Trump Republicans. Now Donald Trump is attacking Dr. Fauci. Why? Because Trump failed America. And Katie is here with more. Katie, with so much focus on infighting today, there wasn't nearly as much attention paid to a new directive from the White House about how COVID numbers are reported. And Andrew, scientists are deeply troubled by this decision from the White House. As of today, all official COVID numbers, details about cases and deaths, must be reported directly to the Trump administration rather than the Centers for Disease Control. The big concern about that is that the information will no longer be made public or that it will be further politicized. The pandemic is already viewed through a deeply partisan lens here. Andrew. Katie Simpson at the White House. Thanks.